Okay, we're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get that coffee. Let's get that coffee going while people log on. Welcome, everybody. We are back again. Panama Seafood. I'm Smiley Miami, and this is Chef Frankie, baby. What up, y'all? Let's start it off right. A little bit of cafecito. We're in Miami, beautiful city, at the beautiful Cafe 72. Y hay que tomar un poquito café, baby. That's right. Hey, today we're talking about down south cooking. So we're gonna make y'all a couple good things today. We're gonna make y'all, first of all, we're gonna make some. Cheers. Cheers, my brother. We're gonna make some shrimp and grits. Southern style fried shrimp with some corn grits. And we're gonna put a little salsa and a couple little, you know, down south little stuff on it. I'm, I'm from the dirty, dirty, dirty south, way down south in the 305 in Miami. And so I, I guess we're considered like country the cooking south. We too, are the south. south. Yeah. Look, I think today is more about you know, a Louisiana. couple of those states, Louisiana, Woo! you know, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky. Yeah, it's like more about Woo! that. So we're going to put our little flair uh, on some shrimp and grits. We're going to make a um, a swipe filet sandwich and we're going to make it kind of like a po' boy with some chipotle rum along. And we got something special. One of my favorites, crawfish, baby. Hell yeah, if you've been in Louisiana, you know you got to have the crawfish on deck. Yo, today it's all about Southern Swank, baby. Southern flair. Southern twang. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, so. Let's get started. What are we going to start with? Hey, I think we should season our flour. So if we're going to make some shrimp, some seasoned shrimp, we have to season the flour. Yeah. What do you What do you like to use that Southern, that, you know, you know, you love going You know, that. everybody associates like Cajun food and Southern food with a little bit of spice. Yeah. You know, so. I don't do your everyday spice. I don't always use the cayenne, but the, you know, in the South you use a nice cayenne pepper. Ooh. What we're using today is a little different, it's sriracha powder. Yes. Which is not easy to find, but it's really, really, really amazing. But you can use either or, as long as you have your spice there, you're good. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of sriracha powder. Right, you always, if your flour tastes good, anything you fry with the flour is gonna taste good. So that's why we use all the seasonings in the flour. Don't just get no regular old flour. You gotta season it up real good. So we're gonna take a little paprika. And then we're gonna take a little uh, garlic powder. Like I said, you always want that, that, that seasoning in your flour, cause if not, what is it gonna taste like? It's gonna taste like flour. Hey, I like to use a little cumino, a little Ooh, cumin. Cumin. Yeah, a little cumin. Wow, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing. A little bit of, of black pepper. Now, Panama Seafood offers a lot of different seafoods that you can you can you can use with this recipe. Absolutely, you can. Any anything you can any kind of seafood you can fry, you can pretty much do this recipe. Now, I'm gonna go grab the fish and I'll be right back. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna talk about the type of fish you can use for this recipe. The type of fish you can use this recipe is simple. Panama offers catfish, flounder, tilapia, and grouper. One of my favorites, Mahi Mahi, baby, because I'm from Miami, and you know the dolphins are running, and we're here for them. I had to plug them in. So today, we are frying fish, swai. Fresh swai. Panama seafood provides the best, the most freshest. This is where you got to buy your seafood at. My, I'm so happy, first off, I'm, I'm so happy that every time we, we do another live, there's another state that has the product. We're now in Arkansas, like he said. We're in Mississippi. We're in Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama. Yes! And if we're not in your area, all you have to do is ask. The seafood market manager, please, can you carry Panama Seafood? I see them, they have the best stuff. Ask for it. I asked for it and they brought it, baby. We're here doing it at Cafe 72 Fried Swine. Woo! I'm gonna have a little drink of my coffee. I'm getting I'm getting excited. Southern, the El Estilo de the South is like no other. 
I love to go to Louisiana. I go there all the time to Mardi Gras. It's an experience, and trust me, we're gonna get as close to it as possible with Chef Frankie here. That's right. So look, what I did was, I went and got my defrosted swipe fillets. You take them out of the pack, you run a little cold water over them, or you defrost them overnight in the refrigerator. Make sure you take them out of the pack, right? I know you gotta make sure you take it out of the pack, um, and then, so, one secret that, that they might not tell you and that you know people say that like, oh maybe it's the experts or whatever, it's not. It's very simple. Your fillets, make sure they're nice and dry. Okay. Because if not, it wets the batter a little bit. Pat them down. So you pat them down, whether it's a towel, you know, napkin, paper okay. towel, you know, something durable, something strong. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a little bit of salt and pepper and just season it a little bit, even though the flour is seasoned. We're gonna season it with a little salt and pepper. Woo! Can't baby! Wow! That's right. That's right. Is it swai or swai? As far as I know, it's swai. Swai. Yeah, it's swai. So, so after it's seasoned, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of egg wash. Woo! And then just secret, always egg wash with one hand, and then dredge with the other hand, oh, so that you can God. cover it right and you don't get all full of gunk. You'll have a little bit of the powder on your hands, but it won't be full of gunk and, and you know. Frank, yeah, I, I, I'm a house cook, man, and, and being with you, spending this time with you, and Panama has taught me a lot of cool tricks. Thank and, you so much. And if you're watching this, you guys are blessed and super lucky to be here right now. We got Celebrity Chef Frankie, baby. Hey, I'm not really a celebrity, you know, I just play one on TV. <laughs> hey, all right, so we're going to try a second one because we make big sandwiches around here. Right hand? Right hand in the, in the, in the, in the egg wash. Woo! Your seasoning stays right on there, and then your left hand dredge oh, it up. Goodness, wow! Just dredge it up. That's it. Now you can do catfish nuggets. Yes, you can do catfish. You can do mahi. You can do anything like that. But since we're talking about the south, um, you, you know, know, catfish is big up there. Even we're doing shrimp and grits today. But uh, you know, uh, catfish and grits is also one way to go. You know, get it nice and spicy, nice and crunchy, and everything from the fry. And then uh, we're gonna hand this off. Woo! We're gonna hand this off to the to the real cooks around here. Now we, <laughs> we're gonna hand it off to the cooks and, and they're gonna make it happen over there and we'll be right back. Yes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna answer a question. What is a southern dish? What is a southern dish? Wow. How can I explain? For me, a southern dish is an experience. It's culture. It's Cajun. And if you know the story. All you have to do is Google it to find out that the South is a mixture of the Africans and the French coming together and they created an amazing, an amazing flavor. Creole, baby. What do you think? What do you think? Creole, the, 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 the flavor. Is Creole the flavor, the, the vibe, the spice? What is Creole? Yeah, Creole is, 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 is a mix between Southern and French. Um, that's practiced a lot, mostly Louisiana and those kind of areas. Yeah. You know, and, and Cajun food is a lot of spice. You know, a lot of slow cooked stuff, a lot of Ooh. seafood involved, a lot of you flavor. Know, a lot of flavor. It goes with the jazz and, and with everything that you find in New Orleans. You know well, what I mean? Well, well, that's fine. Let's talk about gumbo. Another good dish. Gumbo. Gumbo is actually a great dish. Um, pretty much, it's like saying, uh, how do I say? It? So it's gumbo. is rice. It's pretty much like rice and red beans almost. Okay. You know what I mean? But you put like some andouille sauces, it's nice crab, and spicy, shrimp. maybe a little crab shrimp. You can definitely add seafood. the Jonah crabs from Panama and That's right. the clean crabs that they offer. You know That's they right. offer the you best crabs. You just throw them in right at the end. Woo! So if you're using the, the cooked shrimp, make sure you get the cooked shrimp, and right at the end of your gumbo, you throw them in, you know, Frankie, there's something, right at the end. something that I need to ask, something that I don't know about. Tell me about this number right here, 1620. Panama 1620, you guys see the number right there? Okay, so the 1620 Panama shrimp is actually my favorite uh, because it's the biggest. So 1620 equals how many shrimp per pound? Okay. So the smaller the number, the bigger the shrimp per pound. And I know that you like the jumbo because we've been using the jumbo. Yeah, yeah, I don't go by the little ones. Well, you know what I mean? It depends what you're doing. If we were making like a ceviche and we're gonna make, you know, for a party and we're gonna make small portions, then I'll use, you know, the smallest cooked shrimp and I'll just put them in at the end after I make my, you know, my, my mix. Uh, but today we're doing Southern. So right now we got some swipe fillets in the dredge uh, in our seasoned 
flour, and you can put any kind of seasoning. If, if, if you live in the South and, and what you can find in the grocery store is more Southern flavors and stuff like that, then I suggest you can get any kind of Cajun seasoning. You know, I like this, there's like a alligator seasoning that's really dope wow. too. Um, you know, you can get any of those kind of things and just spice up your flour. Always spice up your flour. It's so gonna the make flavors the dish. In, the, in, in the flour, not of the course. inside the fish. You want to keep the of fish course. white and nice. Of course, and you okay. can you can do it how we did with a dry flour, or uh, or you can make a wet batter. You add a little bit of a little bit of water, a little bit of cream, buttermilk to it. You know, and then it's yeah. just a, a, a it's just a thicker it's just a thicker you know a, a, it sticks thicker. Here we're just using egg wash and then our flour seasoned flour dredge. You know okay. what I mean? So, so you've been to New Orleans, right? I have a million times. You a love couple it, right? times. Yeah. yeah, I know you recommended some spots over there Hell yeah. for me. So tell me a little bit about when you go there. What are some of the things that you like to eat? When I go, I always go. There, there's a breakfast spot called Suri's, and, and I always go there because they have the best shrimp and grits I've ever had in my whole life, and it's a flavor that you can't recreate because they're using fresh shrimp yeah. stock that is Gulf shrimp. Yeah. That was bought hours earlier. It's real hard to to mimic that. Yeah, exactly. But if you're in the mood yeah. to try, yeah. you should definitely use some Panama shrimp. Get the sixteen twenty, the next yes, big. Get you some polenta, some corn grits. Hey. You know, and you bang it out with some butter. Are and we cream. doing that today? Actually, we're gonna do some shrimp and grits. And I never had shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits is amazing. Uh, I grew up. I grew up on shrimp and grits. Actually, I I grew up more like on grits with like bacon and stuff. My father was in the yeah. army. Uh, but I definitely grew up on, on grits and I love it and with the shrimp it's just something that holds it so it's like an alternative to rice you know or to salad or something it's just something to yes. put that shrimp on you know it's Ooh. all about the shrimp the Panamax seafood shrimp the 1620s yes it's all about my that. mouth is watering right now it's all about that we had to get ready today is about the southern flavor baby That's we're right. here Panama uh, so let me see what else uh, what are the questions let's do we see have? the questions let's yeah see, man. We got some questions on live right now. How can I create a nice seafood dish using Panama products? Man, it's so easy. As long as you can cook the seafood, you're gonna have a great uh, experience with the Panama products because the Panama products are super high quality, okay? And like I said, we love using those, the big 1620 shrimp and, and you can do anything from shrimp po' boys, you can do shrimp and grits, you know, you can do sandwiches, Hey, you can do rice, you can do enchilado, you can do any kind of recipe with seafood, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So as long as you defrost correctly, yes. okay, which is the correct way, if you guys didn't catch it the last time I said it was, you get the shrimp or the swai or whatever it is you're defrosting, yes. take it out of the package, run water on it, cold water on it, Yes. all right? And then make sure, once after you make your dish, you have, I suggest no more than two to three days after you cook that and you have it in the fridge, after a couple of days, you know, it's definitely not going to taste the same anyway, so you yeah. probably don't want to eat it too too much later yeah, than no, that. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. It's recommended. You know I mean? They said three days, that's it. Yeah, ma maximum three days, and, and I'll tell you what, I, I, you can judge how good your dish is by how much there is left over. Yeah. So if you still have a shrimp dish two, three days later, and you need uh, to practice just a little a bit little more. Bit more. Yeah, you need yeah. a little bit of practice, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You need to watch more of these lives so we can teach you uh, how it's going. So um, yes. we're just waiting on the swag. I'm gonna go grab it right now and I'll be right back. For sure. uh, in the meantime, let me, I'll, I'll see if there's any more questions for you while I go. Yeah. Let's look at the Instagram and see. All right, all right. It says here, okay, what is a gumbo? You answered that. How can I create a nice seafood dish? We got that one. Mi gente, put your questions right here. Under, we got you, we got you. We're answering them right so, now. There, there was a question that said, we don't have swai in the in the Sedanos next to my house, uh, in, the, in the grocery store next to my house. What else can I use? The Woo! good news is, yes. Panama has tilapia. They have swai. Grouper. They have guru bird. They have mahi mahi. They have all kind of fish. So any white fish will be good for this recipe. It could be catfish, it could be any kind of white fish yeah. would work. Technically, any fish would work as long as it's a fillet, it doesn't have any bones. Yeah, but we and recommend the white fish that we mentioned. I like sure. the white fish, you know, because yeah. we're going southern style today, and one yeah. of my favorite southern dishes, believe it or not, is a shrimp po' boy. Woo! So we're gonna recreate our version of a po' boy with the swipe fillets, with that with that spicy with that spicy, with that spicy oh flour and then right here we got a chipotle 
aioli. So it's a honey lime chipotle aioli, fresh honey from the south. You know, we need the recipe on that. Yeah, yeah I got, we, we got, we got to try the recipe. Yeah. We're gonna spice it up with a little sriracha powder. Woo. But you guys at home could definitely use anything the chili spicy, powder. chili yeah. powder. Uh, you can use, um, you know, um, cayenne pepper. You know, any kind of any kind of spice is good. You know, any kind of spice, and I would use a dry spice and just mix it right into the flour so it blends, all those flavors are gonna blend. I love you it. know, we're just gonna do it real simple. You know, the po' boys, uh, you don't always wanna complicate it. It's a very classic, simple dish that, that comes from a time where you needed simple food because yeah. everybody was working and you're moving around so you, you couldn't have a big shrimp dish. No, yeah. you, need, you, you need it right here in the hoagie. You yeah. need to be able to walk around and keep working because, you yeah. know, times were rough back then. Exactly. I mean, Times are still kind of rough. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's toast up this bread and I'll be right back. Okay, while you go, we're gonna explain what we got going on now. Back there, we got crawfish boil. We got shrimp and grits. And we're adding a po' boy. Shrimp po' boy, mi gente, this is huge. Three things right now. I wish you were here to eat it with me, but I'll let you know how it tastes. Chef Frankie is throwing it down. I'm Smiley Miami. I love food, and I love you guys for following us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Panama Seafood. Follow us, follow us. Panama Seafood, baby. Woo, I can't wait. Share, share. Make sure you share this right now. Share this live. Share this Instagram. We're on Instagram and Facebook, baby. You can follow us right now and share this right now. Get ready, Panama Seafood. Te botaste con esta. One of my favorites, crawfish. Woo, I can't wait. Can't wait. Got the coffee going on, a little bit more coffee. Cheers, everybody. All right, guys. It is here, yes! I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. Woo! Sorry for the delay, guys. Hey, we're actually cooking some stuff today, and I got my kitchen right over here on this side. When I disappear, I'm going to the kitchen and just grabbing my stuff, so. Nice. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's go, let me grab a plate real quick. Okay. Wow, I wish you guys could smell this right here. It smells amazing. We're gonna leave the recipe down here below. We're gonna leave the recipe. So you can make this amazing batter at your house. Frankie, you're killing me with this smell right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. I'm back, and now we got a plate, so we can make it happen. Yeah. All right. So let's do some. We got a nice hoagie roll. These are actually uh, made locally. Wow. So any kind of baguette, French. I would say you know Louisiana is like I said, is a mixture. Yeah. Of French, you yeah. know, and, and and southern. So it's the baguettes is always good. I like hoagies. Yeah. They're a little bit softer, but you know your preference is your preference. If you like yeah. baguette, that's more. It's a little bit more classic. I'm not a classic kind of dude. I kind of like remixing everything. Yeah, I didn't notice. You know, you're a DJ, you know about the remix. So look, we're gonna go ahead and grab Woo! one filet. These are the, in case you just got on, these are the swipe filets. Look at that, I wanna show you something right quick. Amazing, amazing, look, uh, amazing, guys. This is not a sandwich for nobody on a diet, okay? So if you're on a diet, there's a lot of other sandwiches you can make. Don't try to make this one, because it's not gonna work. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I love the smells, man. So then watch, if you, I just got a, just a little bit of lettuce here, okay? Woo. But this is not no regular lettuce. This shredded. is nice and shredded. I have the luxury of having a nice slicer yeah. where I can do this, but if you just cut it real thin, I don't know why. It's yeah. just a texture thing with me. Yeah. We're gonna get just a little bit of fresh tomato. Wow, wow, wow. Nothing too fancy. You know, this, this is fancy for me, bro. Yeah, but listen, in the South, we have a lot of farmer's markets. If you want to get some heirloom tomatoes, stuff like that, be more than welcome. You know, and the, the, all these recipes are up for your interpretation. Yes. Yeah. Okay? And then, I don't know how everybody feels about pickles. I love pickles. I love pickles. Yeah. And, and if I'm not mistaken, pickles is a super South, Southern uh, yeah. type of ingredient, a condiment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I know the words. Killed it. Yeah, the condiment, you know, it's vinegar, it's pickled, it's 
And this is all made with Panama seafood, like the freshest of the freshest. That's right. Why is this? So Ooh. this is a chipotle, a honey lime chipotle oh my mayo. Um, chipotles would be a more, um, how do I say? It would be more like a southwest. Yeah. But south is south, right? South is south. South is south. So we got some chipotle mayo. And we're going to dress it real nice right now. There you go. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. So this would be equal... This would be equal to a remoulade, right? Yeah. So in, in, in Louisiana, in the South, they like to use the remoulade for the poor yeah. boys. Yeah. This is just our little remix of a yeah. remoulade. But okay. if what you can find in the store is a remoulade, yeah. or if you know how to make a remoulade, you know, maybe we'll put the recipe up for you guys. Yeah. Uh, so you can learn how to make a quick remoulade. Literally, like, mayonnaise, pickles, a little bit of chipotle, uh, a little bit of honey, yeah, a little bit of ketchup. And that, that's pretty much it. That's Salt, it. pepper, that's my style of it. Wow, I, right. love, it. I love it. I love it. So let's do some. Let's get this bread on Woo! here. Frankie, you're showing off right now, man. Need I want to show like you something. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And then, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa I'll whoa. cut it for us after, but if you want to see that balancing act right there, eso es tremendo sandwich. Oh, my God. For everybody in the dirty south that doesn't speak Spanish, tremendo sandwich means one big, nice sandwich. Yes. Tremendo okay. sandwich. Tremendo, tremendo sandwich. Hold on, I'll be right back and we're gonna cut this thing. You can leave me here with this. It's yeah, okay. no problem, bro. I got it, I got it, I got it. We got a knife <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of surgery right now, but we're gonna have to eat this thing. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys can see it. I hope I position the cameras correctly. And I guess I did not so mind. Let's see. Okay. It's okay. Yep. This is where you want to be, mi gente. Make sure you share, share, and follow us. Follow us for more recipes. Panama Seafood. Now in Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Kentucky, and Arkansas, baby. Arkansas. Yeah. Is that Arkansas? It's not Arkansas. It's Arkansas, bro. Sorry for everyone from Arkansas. Sorry. We're Latinos down here. We don't always pronounce everything correctly, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna cut this. I've been saying it wrong my whole life. Yeah, I know. I can tell. <laughs> you, you, you were supernatural about the Arkansas part. I can tell you've been doing it for a while. So here, you'll get the little plate. Woo! So listen, this is literally the the swipe fillets. Wow! Battered and fried, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and a little chipotle mayo. Any kind of mayo will do. Anything spicy, a little sriracha powder, a little cayenne pepper. Yep. You know, you go get your little southern, your little southern swing going on. Can, so, I, can I dig in? Yeah, I think I, I think we should. I think we need a, a, hey, Kachi, a can you bring us some napkins, please? Don't worry, we're gonna have our lovely assistant, uh, Kachi. She's gonna go grab us some napkins so we don't make. It's gonna be all over the place. Yeah, because now we're gonna make fools of ourselves. Yeah. And if you guys have any questions, please, right now is the Put them time. Down. Put them down right here. We got you. We got you. That's right. So, hey, I think there's gonna be a little awkward moment of silence here. Yeah. But I gotta take a bite, bro. Yeah, me too. My wife, my mouth is watering right now. My wife is watering too. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. So I'm gonna squish mine a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Same time. Cheers, my brother. Cheers. Oh. oh. It's hot. Oh. Oh no. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Mm, nice and spicy at the end. Oh man. Wow. Oh yeah, I love southern cooking. I'm I'm not the biggest southern chef, you know, and I don't do that that many southern dishes, but the ones that I do, I do. You did it. I, bro. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I talk right now. I don't, I don't want to talk right now. I want to no, eat but, this. No, but well, you can't eat it because we got to finish the life. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine, so look, fine, what we're going to do, we're, we're going to put it on the plate. Put it on the plate. Don't forget, mine's the left one. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> And then I'll clean this up real quick. Nice. Wow. The flavors are dancing. They're having a party in my mouth right now. Amazing, amazing flavors. Down south. Welcome to Panama Summer Live, baby. We're here. A very cold beer. Yes, maybe that would do it. What is the ideal temperature of the oil? Wow. Let's get that one. What is the ideal temperature? Frankie, what is the temperature of the oil? <laughs> The temperature on the oil is 370 degrees. You can put it at 350. 
it's fish, fish, fish cooks pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, so I like to have it. I like to have it on 365, 370, something like that. Okay, okay. There you go. That was one of the questions. 365. We would love for you to have the oil at 365 so you can have an amazing experience like I just did, Rodney. Okay, Antonio, how do you grill octopus? Do you boil it first? Uh, yes, most of the time when you buy octopus in the store, you boil like if you buy octopus fresh in the store, you boil it. Yeah. If you buy it when it looks purple, that means it's already boiled. Yeah. So what I would do is you uh, put olive oil, okay. salt, pepper, paprika, whatever seasoning you like to put, uh, and then put it on the grill. Throw, throw it on some open fire, and when you know you'll tell when it starts, you know when it starts bubbling up. Yeah. You know. I like to boil mine with oranges, cinnamon, and garlic. Am I crazy for that? No, absolutely not. Okay. It, it, bro, listen. There's no, there's no wrong, there's no wrong when it comes to cooking. Whatever flavor you like is the flavor you like, and that's cool. Hey guys, we want to thank you for logging on today. Thank you for following us. Thank you for being on point with us. Oh no, no, yeah, it's money. We can't leave yet. No, we're not money. leaving. We're not leaving. Just saying, thank you for everybody. Oh my goodness, what is a roux by Kimberly? What is a roux? We're coming back with what is a roux next. That's the question of the day. What is a roux? And what makes a roux? All right, so I heard I heard the question. Oh yeah, I got some I got some more stuff. Oh my God. I got some more stuff. Let's clean up real quick. So a roux is a thickener for soups or anything like that. So pretty much it's equal parts flour, it's equal parts flour to oil or butter. And then what you do is like if you're making a gravy, you know which gravy so is- So equal parts flour, one cup of flour to one cup of oil? Oil or butter, yes. Okay. And then you just put it in the pan and you mix it up and you're gonna see it's gonna, it's gonna get nice and thick, it's gonna combine. Caramel color. Yeah, that's right, so if you're making Let's say you have a pot boiling with beef stock, and you know, and all the seasonings. Let's say from Let's the talk turkey. talk about the gumbo. Yeah, or, or well, it's 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 kind of it's different. So in your in your beef stock, when you throw in the roux, that boil you made with the flour, then it gets nice and thick, and it turns into a gravy. Yeah. So when you're making gravy, that's the best thing. You know, that's the best thing to do is you make a nice little roux or like a cheese sauce. Uh, but for right now, yeah, which is what I'm more interested in, is I got my corn grits we cooked them already oh my so they're goodness. a little sturdy but but not too much you know? and then we have some beautiful Panama 16 20 uh shrimp in our same dredge and batter and we're gonna combine everything i got a little a little cheddar cheese i got a little cotilla cheese and i got a little pico de gallo wow i love it yeah so all the flavors you know they'll blend together so we're gonna, just gonna hit it with some shrimp mm -hmm. oh my gosh you can never have enough shrimp, you know? So I did a whole bunch of them. I did the whole pack. So we'll do it nice, because it's for the TV. We, you know, it's for the live, so we're gonna do it nice. Yeah. Stand them up a little bit, you know? A little presentation. Wow, well, I love it, Frank. That's right, now watch this. Then we'll throw a little cheese on that side over here. A little cotilla right over the top. Cotilla is what? Cotilla is like a Mexican Parmesan, so it's more like a Southwest yeah. type of thing. A little Ooh. pico de gallo with a little cilantro, wow. just for looks. Wow, and then so we can wow, spice wow. it up. I'm gonna hit it with our same mayo, our same chipotle mayo. Remoulade. Remoulade, yeah, exactly. You can hit it with a remoulade, with, with anything. Really, cilantro mayo, anything like that. Oh my. So that's gonna be our, that's gonna be our shrimp and grits. So I just want to show y'all this. I'm going to go over there because oh my God. I got to show them this because this is the real one. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see. Let's see if I can show it on wow. this one too. Look at that. Amazing. And it smells amazing. My goodness. We're in for a treat today. My mouth is watering. I can't even talk right now. Uh, listen, they're asking if they can fry them frozen. And the first thing I can tell you is you have to defrost your shrimp. You have to defrost it. Under take, cold water. That's right, take it out of the bag, put it inside of a strainer, you know, like your pasta strainer. You can put them right in there, 
run cold water on them and you know just let them thaw with cold water always you never want to do it if your shrimp starts turning red you overdid it yeah so okay. oh yeah i think it's uh it's about 5 35 5 40. i think it's time for us to go but right before you go we're not going to show you how to cook it i can give you a quick explanation and we have one more surprise dish for you guys Woo! one of my favorite dishes coming out right now Mijente, i'm so excited Thank you, Panama, for having us here. I'm Smiling Miami, celebrity chef Frankie. This is it, baby! Dun, 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 dun. Crawfish! That's right, we got our crawfish dish right here with some potatoes. It's steamed crawfish. We got some, uh, some corn, roasted corn, a little bit of coleslaw right there. You know, we're going in. I, I, I hope you're hungry. Smiley, you hungry? I'm starving. All right, good, because look at this. Killing them with the Cajun right now. Woo. That's that southern cooking right My there, that goodness. southern flair. And there's something about the Panama crawfish that they are big, baby. Yep. They're full of meat. That's right, they're big. You know, they're like baby lobsters, is what they, you know, they're kind of like little lobsters. So you want them nice and big with enough meat on them. Yeah. So, oh yeah, just so you know, these swipe fillets are the best. A hey, catfish, tilapia, any kind of white fish is good for the poor boys. And the shrimp. Uh, the shrimp and grits dish. This is your pick right here. The 1620 shrimp. Okay, make sure you defrost it correctly. And if you're looking to eat crawfish, that's your man right there. Woo! All right, no matter where you at, in the south, in the north, in the east, in the west, this is the crawfish for you. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. We will be back very, very, very soon. It's time for us to eat. That's right. I'm sorry, guys, but... It's we we, we go. got it. We got to eat. It's time to go. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Follow you. us. Panamay. And remember, if you don't have Panama in a seafood store near you, make sure you ask, ask for, for it. it. Ask for it. Oye, Panama, ya tu sabes. Woo! Dale!